In this video, I'm going to provide you with a couple of things to think about when designing a exterior stairway that will require sloping all of the steps, the deck, and the landings so that water can drain off of the stairway. How that water drains off of the stairway will usually depend upon the design of the stairway. For example, if the stairway has walls on each side of the stairway, where the water might not be able to drain off of the side of the stairway because there's a wall here. And I'll provide you with an example of that towards the end of the video. So each step is going to be sloping about a quarter of an inch per foot as a general rule of thumb so that the water won't remain on the steps. It's going to drain off of the steps to avoid puddling and creating safety problems. So you are going to end up with riser heights that are going to be smaller on one end and taller on the other end. Unless you're going to raise one side of the stairway up to build it a little out of level in the right to left direction also. However, I've never seen that done before and probably wouldn't recommend doing it. So in this example here, the water is going to roll off of the side of the stairway. And even though we have a variation in the riser height on this side, we're not going to have it on this side. This side is going to be level. And this is actually the reason why I'm making this video. Someone asked how you would design a stairway or build a stairway that had multiple sloping surfaces. And I'll provide you with a little more insight on why you might not be able to do that at the end of the video. So it's not difficult to figure out if you're going to build the treads level from right to left and then slope the landing from right to left or in this direction here, a quarter of an inch per foot that you're going to have a riser variation from one side to the other. It will not be the same height and the building codes actually allow for this, which of course could create problems for other building codes that suggest that you can't have more than a 3 8 variation in the risers. And of course, since we're sloping in this direction here, these riser heights should be the same. This is going to be level. This is going to be level. The front of the tread is going to be level in this direction. However, it's going to be sloping from back to front. So hopefully you can wrap your mind around what I'm suggesting here. Water needs to drain off of the stairway. We don't want it puddling up. However, the building department doesn't mind if you have a nice river coming down here. And hopefully most people would be smart enough to say, you know what, wait a minute, maybe I'm not going to go up or down that stairway if it's got a lot of water rolling down it and creating a possible trip hazard. Next up, let's go ahead and throw some walls in here so that you can see what I'm talking about. If this landing is sloping in this direction, then you could end up with water accumulating over here or even over here, depending upon how the stairway was built and waterproofed. Sometimes the waterproofers install a nosing on the front that could prevent water from flowing over it and then creating another puddle on each step. And definitely another thing to keep in mind when waterproofing this or hiring a waterproofing contractor who doesn't have enough experience to do it correctly. So this landing here is going to have to slope in this direction here in the same way that it will down here. So if we slope this one here in this direction, the water is going to roll down the stairway. This one is sloping in this direction. It's going to come down and then down to the bottom and hopefully not accumulate in any part of the stairway. And now that we have finally reached the last portion of the video to provide you with an example of how someone might create some type of slope like this where we have it sloping in this direction, sloping in this direction here. And if we do this right here, we're still going to have a level area here where water could accumulate, suggesting that this probably isn't going to be the best choice here. And neither will it be if we slope it in this direction here. So if we just kind of tilted a flat plane, raised this side, lowered this side, and had the landing sloping in this direction and then sloping forward in this direction, then we're not only going to end up with two riser height variations where the bottom of this riser is sloping and the top of this riser is sloping. All of the water that comes off here is going to go over to the edge 
And I'm not about to suggest that that's going to be a bad thing. Simply sloping this forward in one direction and not multiple directions. Now I'm not about to suggest that a different design wouldn't suggest otherwise. And if you have something that won't work with the designs I've shared with you in this video, feel free to email me a drawing or a picture of them and I'll be glad to take a look at them and either provide you with a design suggestion or make another video on the subject.